not in terms of politics. I'm not a politician, I'm a rabbi who unfortunately has to use politics <coughs> because it's the only way to get the kind of power necessary to save Israel not only from Arabs but from Jews. If we don't throw the Arabs out, they will throw us out, those of us who are left alive. That's for sure. Democracy is incompatible with the Jewish state. You may not be happy with that state, but I haven't come here to make you happy. I've come here to make people think you want democracy, then you have to play the game all the way. Then the Arabs have a right to sit peacefully and non-violently and quietly and have enough babies and make love, not war. And if they do that nightly, how many Arabs will sit in the Knesset? We now have seven Arabs in the Knesset. After this election, ten for sure, for sure. What happens in five years? 10 years, when 30 Arabs sit there, a coalition government with the left, and that's your government. And what happens in 20 years when they are the majority? They can vote as out of existence. They simply vote them out of existence. We sit and, and play games with democracy. You want democracy? Then forget Zionism. Forget a Jewish state. You want a Jewish state, they get the box. Not the rich. That's the choice. And I've spoken for this, like this for 17 years in Israel. Today there is a change taking place. Thank God. Thank God. Thank you. So, so fine. Not that Jews have gotten smarter. Except they've gotten rocks. They've got a rock going at you. Suddenly, it's amazing how yesterday's liberal becomes normal. You got a rock going at you, a mouth of cocktail going at you. You see Arabs with, with burning hate, and you suddenly realize, my God, what they would do to me if, if they could. This year there is an election. Finally, there must be. They have no choice. If, if they had, believe me, they would push it off. 